Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of the build. In this episode we'll be taking a mould from the deck plug. So I've already got loads of coats of wax on this. Looking really nice. And as before with the whole mould, I've separated off the transom with that Corex bridge. So it'd be moulded in two halves just to make it easier to release and also if I'd want to do a non-outboard version of this to see the wells on that side I can easily make a different uh, transom mould to put onto the main mould so we can do a different version. I don't think I'm going to do PVA, PVA on this, I've just done loads of wax, that is a bit risky but it means um, there'll be less work when the uh, moulds are released and we come to polish it. It should come out much nicer, provided the paint stays on the plug and doesn't stick to the mould. So it is a bit of a risk, but I'm going to give it a try. I've got the gel coat all applied now, apart from on the transom where I've got that barrier for the split mould obviously that has to come off once this side's all fiberglassed just starting to apply the fiberglass around the flange I'll set the camera up and uh, I'll show you a bit of fiberglassing but it's pretty boring so I won't put too much of it on the video four layers of fiberglass on this now and that's four layers of chop strand mat um, and that's 600 gram meter square chop strand mat so next thing I'm going to do is remove that bridgey bit and then gel coat this and fiberglass it I'll probably put another layer all over so it's five layers of chop strand mat and then start making the strengthening bits and glass them all on so it'll be quite strong. I've also, on the whole mould, done some of, the, some of the gel repairs. To do this, all I've done is mixed up a bit of gel coat, splodged it on just with the mixing stick, then waxed some acetate and put that on top and then you just peel that off and you get quite a nice flat gel repair. You still obviously need sanding back. And you, you need to use this stuff, this acetate, because it stops the air from getting to a gel coat. And, um, sorry about that, peacock. It's fucking annoying. Uh, so this gel coat, it doesn't really go off properly if you just leave it in there. It's like an anaerobic uh, reaction. You can get something called flow coat, which is a gel coat that has a wax additive, and that forms a a layer over the top when you uh, when it goes off and so a normal gel coat will just stay a bit sticky and not not ever go off properly that stuff though it also doesn't adhere as well so you're better off using an acetate sheet and gel coating because I did those yesterday 
start. I'm going to be a bit careful doing this because I don't want to take the paint off where I've glue gunned it down. Sorry about my dodgy camera work. It's actually surprisingly difficult to film and work one-handed at the same time. Yeah, a bit of paint's come with it, but I'll just... And there. I'll just fill it up with wax afterwards. Right, so I get some more wax on that and then give it some gel coat. I have to dig out all these bits of filleting wax, but that's fine. And also a bit of gel coat seeped underneath. But it's alright, I can get a scalpel on that and remove that. last clip I went over it with flow coat that's because I've run out of resin basically so you see all these strengthening bits I stuck them on just with gel coat and went over it all with flow coat because it's just a little bit thinner than I would have liked would have liked to have done another layer of fiberglass but I run out and 
I don't have limitless funds, so I did have some leftover flow coat, so it just makes it a tiny bit thicker. Also, it helps a bit because when you're moulding, it blocks out the UV, which is quite important. See, I put all the casters on, so it will wheel around nicely. And I've just trimmed this flange on the uh, split of a mould and pre-drilled it so it lines up nicely. So, moment of truth, we will... Um, see if we can release it I think it's going to be a bit harder because I didn't put the PVA on so we'll find out now whether or not that was a mistake old has released now sorry I didn't film it my uh, phone ran out of batteries but it went uh, about as badly as it could. It was really, really stuck in there. So lesson learned, I should have used the PVA. You can see there's a lot of paint still stuck to it and I've scraped most of it off. Uh, and I cracked it in that corner. I've started to do a gel repair on it, but it still needs more work. So it's gonna need sanding and polishing which is what I was hoping to avoid but it is salvageable it will come out quite nice at the end so yeah when you mould off a plug always use PVA but it's uh let's see if I can hold it move it nice and portable on its casters for watching guys that's it for this episode in the next episode, we'll actually start moulding the boat. I have to do a bit of polishing work first, of course. So, yeah, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like if you liked it. And, um, yeah, check out our Facebook page. That's Alpha Centauri Boats. I'll see you next time. Bye.